Hello, hello, hello. Here we are again. Another Fallout 4. Right. So, what were we doing? Um, finding our way into the railroad. And I think we found it. So. Oh yeah. No dog. Where the friggin' hell is my dog gone? We buggered off into the wasteland somewhere. We so. having fun yet? Don't try anything, stranger. Oh my god, we having fun yet? Don't try anything. Alright, calm down. Let's go and have a chat with her. Hey. There's Lilmonia. The individual is busy. Go on then, sexy bum. In you go. I guess that's where we gotta go. Decoding a coarser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Okay. Who is the right man for the job? He's pretty cool. Look at this in here. What are we on? Some sort of crypt or something? Tom, our visitor here has a coarser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh man, it's been ages! Right. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the coarser chip. Yeah. Why do you want the coarser chip? Institute Tech is light years beyond what we have. And a coarser chip is top of the line. I'm not going to get into details, but that chip could help us save lives. Maybe throw a wrench in some of the Institute's operations. So, hand over the chip. All right, all right, calm yourself down. Fine, it's yours. All Jesus. Right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little course of chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. Go for it, Tom. Looks like he's got a coarser chip in his right. head. Chip access. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. He, he, oh, he's man. doing it. He's doing it. More decimals to the last cipher. Desdemona. Yes. She fucking on, moans man. a lot, doesn't Show she? Me that pattern. Uh. Where is it? They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Software in. Come on. Show me that sweet base. Come on, baby. Then we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Trust me. God, she is a cold, cold girl, isn't she? Jesus, do you reckon she's a synth? Yeah, she could be. She could be. Don't try anything, stranger. Oh, right. All right, chill. I'm not trying anything. Right. So now I think we need to go back to Virgil. So, uh, I suppose we might as well go back to Virgil. Not really much else we can do, is it? Oh, we're here. Hello, if you back out here again. Dealing more with each other. I need to make sure that we're on the same page. Don't try anything, you know stranger. This, right? Uh, yeah, I know about them. Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The institute treats synths as property, as tools. Why does the institute treat them that way? They're playing god tinkering with things they don't fully understand. From that lofty vantage, it's easy to deny their creation's very humanity. Alrighty then. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Well... If you had a body like yours, yeah. Okay, 
Uh, probably not, actually. I wouldn't risk my life for a machine, but I don't think the game wants me to say that. I think the game wants me to say I'd risk my life. So, I'm gonna go for Once, that. Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. Someone with your skills there and your you beliefs. Go. Normally, we'd try and recruit you, but right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And Ooh, in turn, there is. we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Thank you. Road yes, to freedom yes, done. Hope you didn't mind the reception. Completed Road to Freedom, and what's next? Started Tradecraft. Alright, talk with Deacon. Now then, I think we've got two quests going on now. Yeah, we've got Tradecraft and the molecular level. Right, I think we'll we'll continue with Deacon for the moment. Uh, sorry, um, Virgil, the molecular level. We'll go for that one. So let's continue out, and we'll come back to this. Just like we're going to come back to the Brotherhood and stuff like that. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, I am. Upstairs, yeah. Right, we also gotta find my dog. Right. Now then, I think the last time I saw my dog um, was over that direction somewhere. So I, because I was looking at my last um, video and I left him when I um, destroyed them, uh, what's it called? Them super mutants over here. So I wonder if he's still here. And there he is! <laughs> there he is! Dog! Hey! Where were you what were you doing, dog? Hey, dog meat. Apollo! Yes, what are you doing, you stupid animal? Staying here. Only protecting these bloody mutants. <laughs> Come on! Oh my god, can I not uh, come on? Hey. Come on. Yeah. Come on. There he goes. Right then. So, let's go to Virgil. Bring up said map. Let's get down here. The Wacky Cave. Ooh, radiation! Get out of the ground, dog! There, that's better. <laughs> Did you see him sinking in? Must be like a little sand pit or something in there. Right, where am I going? This way. Okay, I'm picking up rads. Oh yeah, of course I'm picking up rads because I haven't got my power suit, have I? Right, come on you big green goo. Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? Yep. I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a Courser. How'd yeah. you manage to get it decoded? Um, the railroad. The railroad helped me. Oh god, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines <laughs> or setting computer terminals free or... <laughs> Sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. 
All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Lovely. Bioscience? Advanced systems? Divisions within the Institute. Specialized groups working on various projects. It'll make sense later, but if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I got it I covered. Got it covered. Good. Got it covered. Good. Because you've got to make it in there. For both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. What agreement? I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. Huh. It's my only huh. hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Ah, uh, the on. serum. Take these and get to work. You do get help. It takes. Call talk to the Bullhood, talk to the Minutemen, talk to you. the Railroad. Okay. Well. Let's have a quick look at the missions then, because I picked up about four bloody missions then. So let's have a look. Data. Where were they? In mis miscellaneous? No. Hmm. Oh, there they are. There they are. Oh, cracky. Optional. Talk to the railroad. Talk to the Minutemen. And talk to the Brotherhood. Get help to build the interceptor. Right, the signal interceptor should get me inside the institute. But I'll need help building it. Right. So, optional. Talk to the railroad. Optional. Talk to the Minutemen or the Brotherhood. Right, I'm not going to go to the Brotherhood. Because I don't want to join them just yet. And that can come a little bit later. I suppose I've been dealing with the railroad. The Minutemen, that's the guys up in Sanctum, but I need to go over and speak to the, the other side, and I haven't even done that mission yet. So, back to the railroad, I think. Let's go back to the railroad. Back to the railroad, dog! What are you looking at? Do you fancy him? I can introduce you if you like. Hey, robot. Got something to say. Protect and serve. My dog sort of like takes a fancy to you. Don't know why. You rusty old can. <laughs> he wasn't interested, dog. He just wanted to protect and serve. Sorry. I'm gonna let you down, like you know. Come on. No, no. I, I told you he's not interested. Get back here. Stupid dog. Right. Let's go. I was just about to take a drink, but I didn't realize we were uh, collecting radiation. Where are we going? Let's go to the map. Oh, no. Nope, come back out. There we go. Right, we're going back to the church. Talk with Deacon. Uh, the Old North Church. Yes. Right. This way, dog. Come on. Oh, what'd you find? What'd you find, boy? Go. Did you find something good? Oh, fucking great. You found baddies. Where the hell did he go? Nice. A baby rattle. A bottle cap. I want a bit of duct tape. And where's the other dude? Ooh, 10 mil rounds. Yes. Is that it? Is that what you found? Where the hell did he go? Oh, he's there. What was in here? Chained on the other side. What is that, anyway? Back alley bowling. Back alley bowling. We like to do a bit of back alley bowling. The wife doesn't like it, but I do. 
Dare, oh dear. Right, where the freaking hell are we going? This way. Can I get in there? I wonder if I can get in there. Doesn't seem to be an entrance to it. Chained on the inside, but I can't get in it. Is there a sign on the other side? No. Can we get in this way? Nothing there, dog. Come on. We're goofing around. Let's put the gun away. We don't need the gun. Are you with me, dog? Has he disappeared again? Oh, no, there he is. Come on, you, you silly sod. Don't look at me with them puppy dog eyes. <laughs> oh, at least I don't have to go in there all the time. Right, now then. Hello! There's Demona. Ah, the Corsair Killer returns. And what brings you back here? Your cute butt. That's what brings me back. Can you take a look at these schematics? The scientist named Virgil said they could get me inside the Institute. Even if one of my own agents told me that, I'd be skeptical. And from a stranger? Listen, you're obviously talented. I believe you'd be a great asset to our organization. So, prove it. Run the op with Deacon. If everything checks out, then we can talk about this plan of yours. What op? What op? We're gonna do something with Deacon? Desdemona. Come here again if you need to meet us. We'll know you're coming. Come here again if you need <sighs> to meet us. We'll know you're coming. So what are we gonna do? You didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Okay. Caution necessary, right? Non-committal. Angry at reception. <laughs> Do you really have to be so cagey? The precautions are necessary. In our business, if we underestimate our enemy's capabilities, it's game over. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. I wonder if they're all synths. Mm, vouch for me. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? I've heard a lot of Failed. things about you. Enough to want to give you a chance. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. Needs me? You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. <laughs> yeah. I'm sort of interesting. Well, I've got to be, haven't I? I'm not sure. I'll tell you the game plan. Then you decide. I got a job. Too big for me? Just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Okay. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's going to be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Yeah... Yeah, I think... Mm, I'm not sure about this. Look, I won't do the hard sell. If you change your mind and want to save some sense or just stick it to the Institute, you know where we are. Yeah. Well, it's obvious I've got to go there. Isn't it? Because I'm not going up to the other two places. Isn't it, right, dog? So, we will accept his, um, his job. 
in the next episode. <laughs> We've done a bit of running around on this one. Let's um, let's end it here. Okay. Please hit the like or the dislike button and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think is going on. Um, what if you're happy with any of everything? And I'm waffling. Waffle, waffle, waffle. And um, yeah, please. And if you like it, and if you like my channel, then subscribe. You don't have to, but it would be nice. Show your support and all. I'm getting close to that hundred. Won't be long. And um, yeah, so we'll continue it in the next episode. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.